Hello friends, in today's video, we shall see constant elasticity demand function. In economics, the demand curve shows the relationship between the price of a product and its demand, that is, how much of that product people want to buy. Economic theory does not define any particular form of the demand curve. Market demand is sometimes shown as a straight line, that is, as a linear demand curve, and sometimes as a curve convex to the origin, which is the rectangular hyperbola. The linear demand curve may be written in the form Q is equal to B0 minus B1P and implies a constant slope, but a changing elasticity at various prices. The most common form of a non-linear demand curve is the so-called constant elasticity demand curve which implies constant elasticity at all prices or in simple words elasticity is the same at every point along the curve. Constant elasticity demand curve has the exponential form Q is equal to A multiplied by P raised to epsilon where A is a positive constant and epsilon is the elasticity at every point along the demand curve which tends to be negative. The figure shows several constant elasticity demand curves with varying elasticities. The two extreme cases of constant elasticity demand curves are vertical demand curve with zero elasticity and horizontal demand curve with elasticity equaling to infinity. A simple proof of constant elasticity demand is presented here. We have already seen the exponential form of a constant elasticity demand curve that is Q is equal to A P raised to epsilon where epsilon is the elasticity of demand and we know the formula for elasticity of demand that is del Q by del P multiplied by P by Q. Now substituting this equation onto the formula of elasticity of demand we get the equation as such. Now differentiating the term with respect to P we get the equation as such and here A and A will get cancelled out and bringing the P raised to epsilon onto the numerator we can write it as epsilon p raised to epsilon minus 1 multiplied by p multiplied by p raised to minus epsilon. So since this p here represents p raised to 1, we can rewrite it as epsilon p raised to epsilon minus 1 multiplied by p raised to 1 minus epsilon. Here p raised to epsilon minus 1 and p raised to 1 minus epsilon will get cancelled out and finally we get the answer as epsilon which is nothing but the elasticity of demand. Similar to constant elasticity demand curves, we have constant elasticity supply curves wherein the supply elasticity does not vary along the constant elasticity supply functions which are exponential of the form Q is equal to B multiplied by P raised to eta. If the value of eta lies between 1 and infinity, the supply curve will start at the origin and will be concave to the horizontal axis and if the value of eta lies between 0 and 1, then the supply curve will be convex to the horizontal axis. The two extreme cases of constant elasticity supply curves are represented in the diagram wherein the vertical supply curve will have a zero elasticity and the horizontal supply curve will have an elasticity equals to infinity. Economists prefer using elasticity over the slope as a measure of how responsive demand is to price changes because elasticity is more flexible and does not depend on the units of measurement while the slope does. The constant elasticity demand function can also be written as Qx is equal to B0 multiplied by Px raised to B1 multiplied by Po raised to B2 multiplied by Y raised to B3 multiplied by E raised to B4t where Qx is the quantity demanded of of commodity X, B0 is a constant, PX is a price of good X, PO is a price of other goods, Y is a consumer's aggregate income and EB4T represents a trend factor for tastes where E is equal to the base of natural logarithms and B1 is a price elasticity of demand, B2 is a cross elasticity of demand and B3 is the income elasticity of demand. In this equation, the coefficients B1, B2 and B3 are elasticities of demand which are assumed to remain constant, which is why it is termed as constant elasticity demand function. Usually, the pragmatic approach expresses the demand function in such a way as to incorporate the assumption of no money illusion postulated by the traditional theory of the consumer. Money illusion is a subjective aspect and considers money in nominal terms rather than in real terms and ignores the effects of inflation. When nominal income increases during inflation, consumers mistakenly believe that their purchase power has increased when in fact it has declined due to the rise in prices. Here, the demand function is expressed in the assumption of no money illusion. That is, consumers recognize that an increase in income only matters if prices stay the same. Economists show this 
by expressing demand as a homogeneous function of degree zero, which means that the quantity demanded of a good will not change if its price and income change by the same proportion. This reflects a situation where consumers are focused on the real purchasing power and not just the nominal amounts. The homogeneity of degree zero is most commonly achieved by introducing real income and relative prices. That is, Q X is equal to B zero multiplied by P X by P the whole raised to B one multiplied by P O by P the whole raised to B two multiplied by Y by P the whole raised to B three, where P is a general price index. In this formulation, it is obvious that if prices and income change by the same proportion, for example by k percent, the quantity demanded of x will not change because k will appear in both the numerator and the denominator of the relative prices and real income, and hence will get cancelled out. The new quantity demanded will be the same as the initial one. That is, there is no money illusion in the behavior of the consumer. A convenient way to express a constant elasticity demand curve is to take its logarithms as log Q is equal to log A plus epsilon log P. In this expression, the logarithm of Q depends in a linear way on the logarithm of P, which means that the relationship between price and quantity follows a predictable proportional pattern. A one percentage change in price always leads to the same percentage change in quantity demanded, which makes the analysis straightforward. The constant elasticity of demand function can be proved mathematically as constant. For this, B1, which is the price elasticity of demand, can be taken to be proved as a constant using log. logarithmic transformation thus the equation qx is equal to b0 multiplied by px raised to b1 multiplied by po raised to b2 multiplied by y raised to b3 multiplied by e raised to b4t can be written in logarithmic form using the rule of log of a product and the rule for log of a power as log qx is equal to log b0 plus b1 log px plus b2 log po plus b3 log y the error term is not not used for simplicity taking the partial derivative of the equation with respect to px we get del log qx by del px is equal to b1 multiplied by del log px by del px applying the chain rule of differentiation on both sides of the equation we get 1 by qx multiplied by del qx by del px is equal to b1 multiplied by 1 by px multiplied by del px by del px and this is equal to b1 multiplied by 1 by px and this can be written as b1 by px so 1 by qx multiplied by del qx by del px is equal to b1 by px now solving for del qx by del px by multiplying both sides of the equation with qx we get del qx by del px is equal to b1 by px multiplied by qx now rearranging the above equation we get del qx by del px is equal to b1 multiplied by qx by px so this can be written as del qx by del px multiplied by px by qx is equal to b1 this can also be written in logarithmic form the derivative of the logarithm of a variable is equal to the proportionate change of that That variable that is del log qx is equal to del qx by qx and del log px is equal to del px by px this can be substituted and written as del log qx by del log px is equal to b1 hence it is proved that b1 which is the price elasticity of demand is constant that was all about the constant elasticity demand function and its mathematical proof if you like the video do subscribe to my channel and share the videos to maximum thank you